Hey YouTube, um, I uh, put this balancer on this morning. I didn't take any video of me doing it, I just did it. And then I put this um, pulley on also. Um, the crank on, the crankshaft nose on this is not, uh, is not threaded. So you can't really use a, um, a balancer installer tool to put it on. It's kind of like a pulley tool, but kind of works in reverse, I guess. Um, they sell them at Harbor Freight and different places. It's kind of expensive, actually. The pulley, the tools to pull things off are cheap, but the one here to put the balancer on is actually kind of more expensive. But regardless, it couldn't be used because there is no way except for heating it up and sliding it on, which I didn't really want to get involved with, or using the tool if you have a threaded crankshaft nose, or hammering it on, which is the least desirable method, which is the method I chose. Um, I used the same balancer that came with the engine. Um, it seems to be in good condition. I quickly painted it, and then I masked off for my line with some Chevy orange, and then of course some of the paint peeled off. But uh, we'll see how long that lasts. I could retouch that up again. The paint's not totally dry. Um, the way I hammered it on without damaging anything was I used this drift, this thick brass drift. And when the pulley the pulley's off, the front of the balancer is relatively flat. And I just laid it straight across the flats of the balancer. And then I hit the drift with the ball peen hammer. It went on pretty good. And I got a nice solid sound. I think I felt like I was bottomed out. The distance there looks about right to what it originally looked like. I put a little oil on it on it before I did this. And then I went inside with a flashlight and I can see that the wear is different where the shaft doesn't hit compared to where it does hit. So uh, all I see is the older style like dirt and debris, not really dirt, I cleaned the part, but where there's no wear from a crankshaft being on it. Um, and that also told me that I was pretty much in the right spot. I also used the drift like this, hammered straight down on it to make sure I had a nice solid sound. And then I'm pretty confident I got it on there correctly. Um, that's one way to do it. Just hammer it down, but don't go direct with a steel hammer. That'll do damage. Go with the brass drift or a piece of flat iron stock steel and um, and you're good to go. Put a little bit of oil on it, clean the part really good with some brake cleaner, make sure it's in good condition and uh, have at it. 